that progress follows after change. And Ghana must change from incomplete independence to become a fully pledged republic. Whereupon the sons of Ghana went in search of Lala and went to the base of Stool of Prosperity. We directed our staff. We were told that African man of vision, Kwame Nkrumah, has done a lot. Now you, I declare you hear from him. The independence of Ghana is meaningless unless it's linked up with the total liberation of whole Africa. Right. Africa must unite. Africa must be free. Someday, somehow, Africa shall overcome from new colonialism, colonialism and imperialism. And across the parapet, I can see the sons of daughters of Africa be smeared with scientific agriculture, general arts, and etc. And declare the echo in this region. Seek you first the political kingdom, and all the things shall be added unto it. I will die many times before they are dead. And if I should die, Lord, let me die in the free hands of Africa. Africa must unite, Africa must be free. Long live sons and daughters of Africa. Long live the struggling blacklist. Long live Africa unity. Amen. Amen. And wait, wait, sharpen incident. There's another one. In book book of consensusism. He says in, in silence our hearts heave some pounds. For tears are not enough to mourn. The blood of comrades who stood the test in Shamil and Langa that day. In struggling for peace and justice, ions and pellets met with justice shot. They fell as the bullets break. The two brute and you two brutus. Younger blows, the bullets break. And as they don't give the total, force I'm gonna go 